What is going on, you guys? I'm coming to y'all with my Namekian Knowledge Piccolo deck for Fanzy Set 10. This is version 1. There's a separate version I do want to test that will involve swapping the level 2, or sorry, the level 4, and a couple other cards in the deck, but for now, uh, the deck is really solid. I'm really enjoying how it plays. So instead of giving y'all a very long, boring intro, I want to go ahead and just jump straight into the video. So, obviously our mastery is Namekian Knowledge Mastery, really solid when, whenever we rejuve during combat or shuffle during, uh, cards into our life deck during combat specifically. Uh, we raise our anger one level, when a Namek Ball enters play under our control, our opponent mills one, and when we control only one ball, it can't be capped by a crit. So, super solid, the entire purpose of this deck. This is an MPPV focused deck primarily, with a uh, DBV backup plan. So we're trying to win by most powerful personality, but we can win by Dragon Ball victory if necessary. That being said, what stack do we play? Well, we play kind of a weird amalgamation. We play um, a various combination of uh, Piccolo levels. Uh, at this particular moment, we're playing, I think it's set 5s, level 1 and 4, set 1s level 2, and set 10s level 3. Now, the experiment that I want to do involves swapping out the set 5 level 4 with the set 10 level 4 to see which one functions better. Um, and swapping out some energy blocks for some physical blocks to see which one performs better in the current meta. In my current meta, in, my, in the environment of my playgroup, the energy blocks are more useful than the physicals, but time can change things. So looking at them one by one, we're playing Compose as our level one, really solid. It's here to just boost us to our level two. When we gain stages from a card effect, we raise our anger one. When we rejuve during combat, we raise our anger one. So with our mastery, if we rejuve during combat, we raise our anger two. It's very, very easy to get off this level one. We are playing uh, Combat Stance for our level two. There's a lot of arguments that since this is a physical focused deck that we should play a better uh, level 2 or level 2 with higher uh, power stages, but I love the auto crit effect that comes on his ability. Um, in addition to that, the Reju 2 is a guaranteed anger. Drawing a card can get us more advantage during combat. I've tried various other level 2s and I've always come back to combat stance. I'm a firm believer in them. Playing set 10's level 3, sorry it's not foil. This whole deck is foiled out right now with the exception of this and one confrontation. And that was because I was too impatient to wait on my uh, Trunks promo confrontations from score to come in the mail. Um, uh, if you guys know a place where I can get a foil of this made on a DBZ card, you definitely let me know so I can hit them up. But set 10's level 3 is phenomenal. It's the best option this deck has by far if you're playing Fanzy. Um... So it has the continuous, if we discard, uh, a card effect causes to discard a card from our hand, we gain five stages. Uh, so when they stare down or something, we can just go ahead and recuperate some stages for our other physicals. It has a physical attack that deals AT plus six stages, and it also allows us to draw a card. We may discard a card from our hand, and if we do, we banish the top five of our opponent's discard pile, and the attack gains hit. Choose a card in your discard pile and shuffle it into your life deck. So AT plus six, really solid stage damage. We get to draw a card, period. We don't have to discard it. That generates advantage for us during combat. We automatically get to banish the top five of our opponent's discard pile if we do discard a card. So really solid against Supreme Kai decks, and we can get an anger off the shuffle effect thanks to our mastery. It's just extremely solid and does everything that we want to do. And then we're playing Revitalized as our level 4. Again, there's a lot of arguments for going with the set 10 level 4, and I plan on testing it. Um, for now, I just love the fact that our opponents cannot use the immediate effect of Dragon Ball. So if they do get capped, um, it's practically worthless to them, other than keeping us off DBV, which we don't really care about. Um, our encouraged with Endurance have their Endurance increased by X or X number of balls we control, which is solid. And if they happen to banish the ball from, our, uh, from us somehow, we can search our banish zone for it with this power. So, uh, really solid. The other one is much more aggressive, and that's why I've been going back and forth debating which one is better. Uh, this particular version is slightly more Dragon Ball focused, so I like the Revitalized. Okay, into the deck itself. We are running the entire Namek Ball set. Um, most of you probably know what the Namek Dragon Balls do, but I'm going to walk you through one by one in case you don't. Ball one, nice and simple. Our other balls can't be capped, and our attack seal plus one life card of damage. Namek Ball two, it lowers the personality one level, or it may lower personality one level. This is really solid against personalities that like to camp on a level two or a level three, or against decks that are trying to win by MPBV. Ball three. We draw three, place two from our hand on the bottom of our life deck, 
and then we raise or lower opponents up a player's anger one so we can either raise our own anger to help us get to mppv we can lower an opponent's anger to keep them off mppv and just get a better hand for combat our anti-blue tech right here or sorry anti-orange primarily um destroy two setups or drills really really solid just gets off some of the annoying uh drills or setups our opponents have in play Ball five, best ball in the deck in my opinion, my my absolute favorite. Gain five stages on level one, that'll get us an anger. Raise our anger one, so free anger. Draw a card, advantage during combat if we get it into play during combat. Rejuvenate one, which if we happen to put this into play during combat with like a dragon radar or a dragon clan, that'll raise us one anger off our mastery, and if we're on level one, another anger off of that. So this card all in all on our level one will gain us a total of four anger. And if we're on any other level, it's going to gain us a total of, you know, uh, two to three. Really solid. Ball six. I played this particular ball six, the set five ball six, just to piss people off because it doesn't match the set. Uh, MPs POR is plus three, our opponent's attack still minus two stages. And probably one of the worst balls, in my opinion, is ball seven. It's not bad, but we choose up to three cards in our discard pile and put them on top of our life deck, and we our opponent will mill the top three of their life decks. So... Uh, it's certainly still good. It helps set us set up the next combat. It's just not as impactful. Into the rest of the deck, we are running one Emeki Infusion. This is here mostly for the really uh, grindy, brutal matchups like Broly. Um, Raising to our highest power stage helps us recuperate some of those power stages. On our level one, gets us an anger. We draw a card, which will get us advantage during combat. And if it's style, we rejuve two, which gets us an anger. Just super solid for those really grindy matchups. I cannot tell you how much I was debating after image technique for a while and then how much I fell in love with it. It does so, so, so much for this deck. So when it enters, we tutor for a named card and destroy it. And we may use this card, we may shuffle this from our hand into our life deck as an action to place a ball or attach card on top of its owner's life deck. So this is really solid to get rid of things like wall breakers if our opponents happen to still be playing those. It can get back a ball our opponent capped. So we can get rid of attached cards and reclaim Dragon Balls that have been captured, or just get rid of an opponent's ball and play that's annoying us, so we can play our own. That by itself is really solid. Putting a weighted clothing in the discard pile for us to then use its ability is great, because it also gets a dead card out of our deck, as well as getting us the guaranteed to anger, if we want to banish it with that effect. And then it has its own effect of a defense shield, where we may banish a name card from our discard pile to stop an attack, and... Uh, your next attack this combat can only be blocked by a physical combat or an energy combat card. So it prevents Omni blocks on the next attack. It's an Omni block itself. And it gets a dead card out of, our, out of our discard pile or out of our life deck into our discard pile to either be used for its own anger gain effects. Or it can get rid of an attached card or a capped Dragon Ball. This is the very definition of versatile and I fell in love with it for this deck. Wish. It's a combat ender. Um, just banish after use, uh, choose X in your discard pile and rejuve them, or X in number of balls in play. Selective rejuve is awesome. Dragon Clan and Dragon Radar. Not really much to be said. They're both ball tutors. Dragon Clan can get us two balls if we're on level four, which is sweet, and that usually just ends the game. Okay, into the rest of the deck. Start with the events. We have three Piccolo's Weighted Clothing. This card is... I love hates. It's I'm in a love hate situation with this card right now. Um, if it's in our discard pile, we can banish it as an action to raise to anger, which is solid because we are an MPPV deck. But it has an instant power. Used when entering combat as the defender, your opponent skips their first action this combat, and then you gain X stages where X is your P, X is your PUR. I honestly forget that last line of text more often than not. So in future gameplay videos, if I do make them, expect to see me forget that a bit. I hate drawing this as the defender because it does nothing. Unless we're on our level 3 where we can discard it and hopefully just use, uh, banish it with its own effect to get some anger. However, the, the times when it's good, it is super solid. Free anger is awesome. Making our opponent skip is awesome. Gaining stages is awesome. It does so much, but it has the risk of being a very dead card. That being said, I still plan on playing it until we get a better option. But as far as Piccolo named cards go at the moment, we're kind of stuck with what we have. So, not going to hear me complaining too much on that. Two-Sphere. Um, 
I'm honestly not really sure what the whole what the hype behind Sphere is. I know everyone says it has to be in every single deck. I don't believe that it does. There's not all that many events that I really care about. I'm not very likely to to Sphere a stare down. Uh, more often than not, I don't care if you discard a card from my hand. It doesn't bother me all that much. I'm not that worried about Sphering. Honestly, most things. It's here for the neat situations when I really do just want to stop something. And there are decks when it's absolutely vital to have a sphere. So I definitely agree with running it. But if you're on a budget and you can't afford spheres, Namekian Silencing does a great impression for a huge drop in price. Now, spheres have already dropped down to about $15 to $20 a piece, so they're already not that expensive. But Silencings are like $0.50 cents a piece. And they perform, uh, they do much of the same. But yeah, it's basically just a way to counter an event and rejuve one. It's a great card, make no mistake, but you don't need the actual spheres. There's other ways to go. Two confrontation. Yes, this confrontation isn't foil. And again, I know I can't really justify rushing this video. I really did want to wait until I got my uh, set of Trunks promo confrontations from Score in the mail. Um, but I was just super impatient. I really just want to go ahead and get the content out there. Um, I'm considering dropping this down to one anyways, because two seems a little bit clunky, but getting knowledge of our opponent's hand and getting rid of their best card during combat is extremely solid. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Yeah, if I can grab my cards. Two overtime. I was running this at three. Three was way, way, way too clunky, way too cloggy, um, but I really do like what it does. Rejuve one... Our opponent mills equal to the number of balls we control, and then we tutor for a style energy combat card and place it into our hand. This is mostly here to go get protective postures and guarantee a block and a free rejuve, which equals a free anger. Not to mention the free rejuve off of the silencing, or the uh, the overtime. So, big fan, but I don't think you need to go over two. Two overtime. Really interesting card here. Banish after use, of course. Lower your opponent's anger two levels or banish two events from the discard pile. So kind of interesting there in the versatility. It can be solid against certain decks that want to reuse events over and over and over. Or just keep them off MPPV with the anger hate. Draw the bottom of your life deck, and if it's a ball, then draw the bottom card of your discard pile. So it's here whenever we uh, take damage and we reveal the ball. That way we can just get the bottom of our discard pile and get the ball back. It's kind of weird. It's been very helpful in some situations, though, and it's been that one card that pushed me to get my next anger gaining card to win the game. So I'm a fan of it. Time. Not much needs to be said. You play this card, you win the combat. Three hybrid defense. Hybrid defense is solid. There's no reason not to be running three if you're in Namekian. Selective rejuvenation is nice. Uh, you know, having an, an Omni block is solid. You need the three. Likewise, there's no reason not running three protective postures when you're playing Knowledge. It is an energy block that guarantees an anger game because it reduces after use. Can't uh, You really can't say no to that. Two Energy Guard. Love Energy Guard. Very simple. Again, it's going to guarantee you at least one anger if you have any cards in your discard pile at all. And then blocks the energy. I'm currently testing two copies of Namekian Resistance in this deck. And it's the main reason why I'm trying out the, the main reason I'm trying out these cards is because I am running set fives level four. I'm running revitalized, so getting to re use the immediate effect of a ball in play or a ball we, uh, that is in play is awesome. Then our opponents also get to use the same effect. But if we're on our level four, our opponents can't use that effect. So it's kind of a here and there thing. But we don't have to use the effect of a ball in play. We can just use it to block the energy attack. So if we happen to really want that effect, we can usually use the better effect than our opponents. And the only physical blocks in this deck currently are three Namekian Neat Block. And the reason why is very simple. Two Endurance, solid. Stop a physical, solid. If it's Rejuved, raise your Anger 1, solid. Doesn't matter when you Rejuve this, if you just discard it and Rejuve it, that's a free Anger passively. Can't say no to that. Into the Physical Attacks. Three dead blow. I really don't need to explain why. Supreme Kai is a nightmare. Dead blow is discard pile hate. It raises your anger. It lowers your opponent's anger. You know it won't be dealing that, that much damage in most situations, but it's still extremely solid, and you need the full three in the meta right now. Three crushing slam. Two endurance is nice and solid. 
Shuffle the top two of your discard pile into your life deck is solid because it gets us the anger. AT plus three is solid damage. A lot of these attacks kind of speak for themselves. One of the best attacks in this entire deck is right throw, which we're running three of. Two endurance, you may shuffle the ball. If you do, you raise your anger two levels. AT plus three stages in damage. So two anger gain off of itself. Shuffling a card into our life deck during combat is one anger off of our mastery. This gets us three anger overall. Really, really, really hard to argue with the phenomenal effects of right throw, especially when you consider the the endurance and the uh, pretty pretty damn decent damage. If you don't, if you uh, ask my opinion, at least for an Amekian deck, three chain grab, another one of my favorite physicals, guaranteed anger off the automatic rejuve, possible anger off of the hit effect, super solid. Again, I'm not going to spend too much time on most of these combats because we all know what they do. Sidekick. Lower your opponent's anger two levels. AT plus two. Nice and solid. And then hit. We draw the top card of our discard pile. It's anger hate. It allows us to reuse the top of our discard pile, which as much rejuvenation as we get, we can kind of manipulate to a certain extent to ensure that we get the best card that we need. Uh, big fan of sidekick. I wasn't running it for the longest time, and some folks on retro were very nice to correct me on that, and I haven't looked back ever since. One card I'm running that I don't see most folks run is Namekian Justice Punch, and I really don't get why. So two Endurance on this is nice and solid. It is a focused physical. Um, if you're not familiar with the old score uh, wording, that's basically what this means. It can only be stopped by a physical combat card. So yeah, focused physical attack, very difficult to block. Guaranteed set five stages, no attack table necessary, and then hit lower your opponent's anchor two. Good Endurance, hard to stop, anchor hate. Everything I want from this deck. And the last physical we run is two copy of Robotic Destruction. You can shuffle the ball into your life deck. If you do, then you banish three from your opponent's discard pile. So it's discard pile hate against the Supreme Kai. AT plus three stages is good, is good damage. And then hit, you can search for two uh, cards and banish them to rejuve two. Get rid of physical blocks if you're not against a physical, physical deck. Get rid of energy blocks if you're not against an energy deck. Rejuvenate the two, get your anger, and then you, if you shuffle in a ball, you get to get another anger, thanks to your mastery. It's doing everything this deck wants to do as kind of a weird control MPPV deck. Into the energy combats, we're only running two separate energy combat cards, four copies uh, between the two of them. That's two Onslaught. Um, energy costing one, damage four, rejuve one, and if we have two or more balls in play, it gains remain one. So very solid, just stays in play to be used a second time. Um, this can oftentimes propel us forward to get our MPPB. And last but not least, two max will. Two endurance, energy costing two, damage six life cards, so we can possibly get a crit on them. And then we can just discard cards on top of our life deck to... Uh, lower opponent's anchor two levels per each the one that we discarded it is super solid it really keeps the opponents off mppv and it's the reason why we're running this in the deck even though we are a physical combat focused deck so yeah that was my uh deck profile over namekian knowledge piccolo let me know what you guys thought in the comments and sorry let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below how do you think i should upgrade this deck how would you personally change this deck and what are your thoughts on removing confrontation in favor of something possibly a little bit more uh, pressuring on the opponents? In addition, how do you feel about the budget swaps between uh, Heroic Energy Sphere and Namekian Silencing for those that can't afford it? I definitely want to hear all opinions down below. I really hope you enjoyed this and let me know if you guys want to see more of them. But until next time, I'm signing out. Peace and take care.